What's up everybody, it's your boy Showtime Doctor. I'm gonna be trying out a new game today. Uh, a couple of you guys recommended it for me, El Chronicle. I need something to fill the void of Overhit. Still playing Overhit, but not quite as seriously since the Nexon pay-to-win mechanic stuff. Just a bit too crazy in that game, so... Gonna try this out. Liking it so far, I did about a day as much as I could yesterday in between watching the new Game of Thrones and all that. Uh, we'll get into it here. It kind of blindsided me with a patch earlier when I was recording. I was like, all right guys, let's check it out. And it's like, extra patch. Like, oh no. So, uh, so this is kind of a top-down RPG. It has... It's not as bad as some of those browser games where everything's like auto-battle and... Uh, you know, you just click a bunch of things like, do this, do that, do this, do that, and it's like... It's just, it does a little bit of that, but not nearly to the point of uh, insanity like some of those games do. So this is my basic party right now. Apparently, because these are all like story characters, apparently eventually you're going to get a chance to have a five person party. So that'll be kind of interesting. But right now, uh, let's go ahead. We'll go into adventure mode so I can just kind of show you a little bit of the game and then I'll break down it, break it down a little bit more. So you kind of get like a map screen. You can drag characters back and forth. If you really want to, you can click this. It'll run you to wherever the hell it wants you to go. And then they'll do like a little story. So your rewards, your squad, these are the conditions if you want to make the objectives. And then, you gotta clear this map uh, SS rank before it lets you do the auto battle, which is fair. Uh, you can't auto battle every map, like a lot of, I think some of the raids and stuff, you have to actually manual it, so it's not just like a big auto game. But, so for the most part, I got auto move on. Now you got your skills over here. And it's kind of crazy because uh, a lot of the skills, they're active, so they have not only, like, the base skill you can do, but you see how it lit up with a new skill there. So sometimes there's, like, additional skills you can do on top of everything. Like you see here. So it's pretty cool. Now, as far as I know, I haven't even looked at a tier list for this game yet, honestly, but as far as I know, these first three story characters, they aren't really top tier or anything like that. But so far, my first impressions of the game have been pretty good. Uh, just to give you guys a look at combat, that is the crystal currency right there. And in order to do a 10 pull, let me go look. I believe you need 2500, which is... Considering you get about 50 per clear, and you see I got 1020 right now, that's going to be a fair bit before I get to there. Let me see if I could find the gotcha. They kind of hide the gotcha in this one, but it's in shop. Go to shop. Oh yeah, I haven't done my free pull, might as well. See if we get... Uh, you can also get items, I believe, in the gotcha, so... I'm a little bit confused on that as of right now. I guess I should just go look at the rates. What we got next? Not bad. Tier 3x. Uh, tier 3 right now is the top end of what I got. But pretty good. Let me see. Let's see if they have a rate somewhere. I don't see it. I know it's probably somewhere. I just can't see it right now. Oh well, and then I got a kick out of her name being Verdandi. Brings back Knight Knight's Chronicle uh, memories. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna load my hero out with that new piece of gear we got. As easy as, as simple as going to your bag. Uh, most of the tier one stuff I don't even bother unless someone's running around naked, pretty much. So you just hate use. And then put it on whoever you think it's gonna go good on. In this case, I'm gonna actually put it on the main hero. Actually, I should show you. There's a comparison, so... You can kind of see, okay. This is what, what it's gonna be once you get up.
And then you can see the damage there so clearly. No comparison really. We'll go ahead and throw that on and be on our way here. But you know, it's got a gearing system, it's got a... Uh, Pretty much all the standard gacha stuff, you know, so evolve your character's strength. You can upgrade your skills. And right now I have like millions of gold, but I'm not entirely sure if I should just save things or what to do with everything. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve this guy, because I haven't evolved him yet. Little samurai sword maker here. Dramatic pose. So there you have it. Um, yeah, and we'll just keep going. If, if stuff gets too hard, then I'll, I'll go back in and like evolve or XP or whatever I have to do. But for now, um, we're just going to traipse through the story a little bit more until I can unlock and get a lot more crystals. So I'll try to make this video about like 30 to 40 minutes. Give you a sample of the story here. <laughs> Little fanfare music. So if you set your character right next to somebody, it'll do some auto hitting. And then you can you can switch between the characters, so if you really want to control like the caster or whatever you can. But don't feel like you're locked into having to play the uh you know the shonen badass. Yeah, just summons bamboo out of nowhere. And, you know, we're just beating up on the Murlocs. Not sure if there's an English uh, voice actor option. But I'm cool with the Japanese. <laughs> How much for the soldiers, eh? Look how my man has the breathe right strip looking nose. And <laughs> he's chewing on like some straw. Even better. So eventually when I start to get uh, some new heroes, I guess I'll go check the uh, tier list at that point. Now they give you these uh, side quests, it's just literally click, they'll either do some scanning or you'll go talk to somebody or you'll battle something, you know, all the greatest hits for MMO style quests, but like something. And it's cool because, uh, you know, it just gives you a bunch of side stuff, usually it doesn't take a long time. And look, more, more currency here. We got another side quest over here. I guess this is gonna be the great merchant guy. No one will ever top uh, the dude from Secret of Mana, though. I'm mountain climbing. The shop's open. Well, let's see what this is about. I'm still unlocking stuff. I've only been playing for this will be my second day.
Okay, well, I'm definitely not gonna spend that stuff on that. Maybe late game, though. Maybe it's optimal to get, like, something crazy. Not sure. Oh, man, you gotta spend on wounds, runes, too. That sucks. Because that's also the summon currency. Dork. Oh, well. So that's there. Alright, we got another side mission. Go do that real quick. And then uh, I'll do a couple more uh, battles and I'll show you guys some of the side modes, like raid and all that. So there is some shard gotcha in this, so you are getting. Uh, you know, X amount of shards to upgrade a character. Get the enchanted cactus. Now there's something you don't see too often. <laughs> oh wow, a soldier survived. <laughs> Do your own thing, bud. Fairy Slayer over here. Alright, so let's get back to the actual campaign. We'll do like two more campaign battles and I'll show you guys some of the other stuff. Now apparently, uh, from what I was reading, mid-game, it's actually fairly common to run out of energy in this game. So... I just have to see that for myself. But right now, what I'm gonna choose to do, I'm gonna focus on the little caster. Because... Hopefully she'll do like a twirl animation or something at the end of the battle. So let's just position her. And so... She also has a heal, which is kind of nice. And for the AOE out. There it is, I called it the twirl. I never even saw that one. <laughs> You always got a twirl in the game if you're wearing a skirt, apparently. Guys included. Yeah, apparently PvP's open up. Oh, maybe not. All right, I guess we'll try this. Yeah, uh, we gotta make a squad. You know who's in the squad. I don't know why they're even... All right, how do I get back? See how this goes. Not sure how difficult this is gonna be. I'd like to control the uh yeah, okay, we go. Gotta keep them away from everybody. Is that it? Mm, well it is level one. I thought it was gonna be like three on three or something.
Well, there you have it. <laughs> so we'll come back to that. Well, hell, since I'm here, I might as well do an escort carry mis carriage mission for you guys. I was actually getting wrecked last time I tried this one. And we'll see how this goes. Of course, this was before I found out about auto. Or not found out, I think I unlocked it. So the carriage is going to travel, it's got its own HP. You got to protect it. Little mushroom things, I'll just kind of focus on it. You see this guy just focusing on it, its health went down a little bit. I'm gonna try and kill this stuff as it spawns, it's about every 33 or so percent. You see this guy's trying to backdoor it right there. He got a little bit of damage, but not much. So, right here. These guys, they kind of distract you, but there's all these dudes back over here, so you really gotta just go wreck them ASAP. And yeah, it looks like we're actually gonna make it. Cool. That's the first time I did level 2 successfully. Very nice, dude. Very nice. So this stuff, it's basically upgrade material on top of gold. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so let's go back to campaign. What I figure I'll do, I'll do campaign a couple more times, and then I'll do uh, all the other modes. And if we get close enough to the point where I can do a 10 draw, then I'll just play until we do a 10 draw. If not, I'm not going to keep you guys for like two hours or anything. It's funny, this kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles a little bit. in this prison with you. You're all trapped in here with me. I'm a chunky, eh? Yeah? Oh, he got me. Man's got some serious AoE. Trying to pull a bullet hell. Trying to get behind this cat. There we go. They'll do little things on the map, like straight lines, or you'll see like a big circle. That means that usually means the boss is gonna do something. So you gotta either stagger it or get out the way. Alright, let's do another one. After this, we'll go check out, like, Raid and whatever else I got unlocked. Plus, now that I'm thinking about it, it'd be kind of weird to summon, because I have no idea who's good yet. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could just go look at a tier list, but... Won't quite be the same. energy wave away from League of Legends. I'll tell you guys what though, uh, when I make another video for this game, I'll just uh, save the tin pole for that. 
and I can actually get excited because I've looked at a lisp from then. Okay, so let's get out of here. We'll go check out some other modes. So... Yeah, I guess we'll go do the raid first. So there's a couple different raids. Um... I think the square is just a look at your heroes type thing, but I'm just making sure. Yeah, so you can go in here and then... So you're playing with other characters when you go into the raid and you can come here and be like, Hey, you know, I want to join. I want to put together a raid for XYZ. <laughs> and then there's a... Uh, you set up your mercenary that other people can use because in case raid, you know, maybe it's a downtime, people are at work or whatever and no one wants to play, you can hire mercs from other players. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. I guess they give rewards here too, that's cool. So trying to build like a super good mark with like a rare character or something late game is going to be pretty, uh, pretty good stuff. But right now I only got one thing unlocked and unfortunately it's not really that tough. <laughs> it's a uh, Papa Merch or Papa, Papa Mushron, I call him Papa Roach. So, gotta make my own game here, so what I'm gonna do... Cause yeah, no one's really running this guy since he's the first raid. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a Merc, so we'll hook somebody up. So, first one that pops. It has to be a Merc that's different from the character you're using. Oh, my bad. Let's select my own heroes here. And this will be really quick, so it's kind of not really giving you a good flavor of the raid, because I need to unlock, like, a higher raid. Yeah. And he's done. <laughs> so, it's kind of like, this kind of reminds me of the Vindictus style of raid. Just Vindictus was more 3D though, but it's basically the same thing. So eventually, once you start unlocking the higher level raids and stuff, I think it's going to uh, be pretty fun. So we'll get out of here. Now, you've already seen the uh, Protect the Cart mission, so i got to find the next thing we could go look at. Gango actually looks like he'd be pretty fun. So there's challenges. Missions. Oh, pretty much, I guess you guys have seen both of these. Okay, well, I guess there's not that much to show you right now. Well, I might as well go and get all my freaking rewards then. Go ahead. See how close I can get. So as you can see right now, energy's not an issue, but I guess late game, people are saying that it does get to be. Let's see what's in here. More energy. Yeah. You straight up have to tap on something to receive it. Day seven is going to be exclusive weapon summon ticket. A bunch of crystals on week two. Tier 4 chest on week 3. Tier 4 set armor on week 4. I always like set bonuses. I feel like every game should, uh... Should be using that mechanic, personally. At least, you know, games that have gear. And here's the typical, hey guys, there's a shop. <laughs> so we're gonna put a notification on your thing until you go and get it. I don't like it when games do that, but of course, there is a reason they do it. It's better if they at least include some uh, free stuff. But... And then you got your costumes, the so, hot waifu. Etc. Yeah, 
Apparently they're going all out in the schoolgirl uniforms. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, <laughs> I want that guy. Hmm, <laughs> he looks good too. He just looks like he fell in some pudding. Swordsman of the Frozen Moon. So I'm not sure if it's possible to farm up these things or if you straight up just have to purchase them. Oh, these look pretty good, though. But, you know, I would guess that they want you to purchase these more than have a farm up, but... If that changes, we'll check it out. You got, like, a super soaker? <laughs> a rifle. That's pretty funny. Wave Mancer. And etc. You see how many of them they got going on here, so they're pushing that pretty heavy. Alright, so let's get back to the game. Well, in that case, I guess I'll do about like two or three more of these missions and be done. But if you guys got any tips for me, any, uh, you know, do this, do that, focus on this early game, I'd appreciate it. And then as I play it more, eventually I'll become a self-practitioner. <laughs> It's like when you do yoga for the first time, you really need some guidance, and then after a while, you can basically low-key teach everyone else the basics, and then maybe even some intermediate stuff. Super attack or anything. All defense down. In this game, there's a thing called all defense that's basically uh, magic and physical defense. でも、どうして妖精が中間間ちょっと地上があって、それよりこうしてる場合じゃないの。ひょっとしてそのままの遥か昔に封印された妖精の森。すげえ。どうやって空中に浮いてるんだろう。ガーディンズネリオ。わか
Hmm, no idea. <laughs> I guess I'll have to look up a guide. Well, god damn, there's a lot of them too. Oh, let's just pick someone at random. Aaron's the fairy, so why not? Yeah, there's conditions you have to meet. Well, never mind, I guess we're not connecting them. Even though I technically met her. Awakened heroes can gain additional stats with meals. Interesting. <laughs> it's like this roast beef makes me stronger. どうしてここに。こんにちは、皆さん。宿屋の外では初めて私は錬金術は攻撃魔法ではありませんよ。なんだ。戦闘には何言ってるの?戦闘2人は錬金もしよろしければ私の宿屋に本当ですか?絶対
That's funny, she's just like barely a student. He's already like making portals. Oh, there's a name. Well, there you go. Looks like we got a new hero. That's funny, so we beat him up and then we throw him in the end. And they were like, join us. <laughs> Alright, let's go check that mechanic out. Fuck. Alright. When? Renounce. I guess you get a free greet every day. You can do this encourage thing for gold. Oh, you get a free greet every 30 minutes, pretty much. Alright, well, I'm sure she's good, but I don't really need need her right now, so I'm not really gonna spend gold. Well, I mean, it's limited to five a day. I guess we might as well. Or actually, you know what? Maybe the server's resetting. Maybe that's it. Or maybe it's... Well, we'll see. Actually, I know a way to check. Oops, wrong time. Um... You can check from the quest menu. It's kind of hard to get to. Achievement. Renewed in one hour, 37 minutes, so that's when reset hits. Okay. Um, I mean, when we go to a five person party, but I don't know when that is. But it's gonna happen at some point. So then, I mean, it's I'm in no rush to get a new character. But, um, since the server's gonna reset, I guess I'll just start focusing on my quests. So, gotta do Colosseum three times, three raids, which. Energy can. So we got a ways to go. I'll try the raid right now. Ah, oh, you can only do it as many times. Okay, well, I guess I can't meet that condition then. That's kind of dumb. But I guess I just need to unlock more stuff. So if that's the case, I should keep going then. But for the sake of this video, I'll do like two more, two more of the uh, campaign missions and we'll be done. But let me know what you guys think, if you want to see more coverage of this. You guys play it, you enjoy it, you think about playing it. <laughs> I feel like that one hero in uh, League of Legends when she does her AoE and knocks back everybody and then you just knock them out of someone's ult. <laughs> Happy fun times.
I'm starting to wonder because you guys have given me feedback on my new camera stuff. You said it's a fireside kind of view. I'm starting to think about just like putting a fire somewhere and be like, next time on Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> <laughs> this game kind of reminds me of the old like Ark the Lad battle games. I got the carriage just appeared out of nowhere. Oh no, corgis. We're trained guards. What are we going to do about this? They're so ugly, I can't even focus on them. <laughs> no offense to people with corgis. I actually think corgis are cute. Pugs now. Hmm. Alright, so apparently... Oh, there's waves. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Oh, shit, really? They're just like suicide. Okay, so they're like ignoring everything. I thought they were at least gonna get staggered or something. Oh, this is an interesting challenge. I wonder if there'll be like a boss monster. Damn, that dude's fast. Crap, that's a lot of stuff. Take that, bitches! Man, it's getting close. Luckily, we got a bunch of knockdowns. <laughs> All right, good deal. Yeah, we've got something new. Let's see. Base defense. Oh, cool. So that's like a mode then. Okay, we'll, we'll fit this in real fast. Oh, there's five people now. Okay, fuck. Maybe I should go recruit that lady. Okay, I'll go do that. Um, oh wait, it says max of three heroes. Oh, well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Let's just go then. I guess it's just us this time. Oh, but the building kind of regenerates, so that's cool. Get over there. Faster. Crap, stupid warp. I guess more uh, melee guys would be good here. It's actually decent like so. Hmm, interesting. I like that mode. That has some potential. And it really kind of breaks the monotony of just being like a beat-em-up, you know? 
That was cool. They've kind of managed to make the farming missions in this game a little fun. I'm down with that. Oh, is there some type of, like, reward thing I'm missing? Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. So, next video, I'll share my uh, 10 draw with you guys. Hopefully we get some badass heroes. And that is going to be it for me. So yo, if this is your first time seeing me, I'm Showtime Doctor, Showtime VR. It's my YouTube. You can hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Uh, also, you can check the title info, link to my Twitch, link to my Discord. I don't know, maybe I'll stream this one time on my Twitch, we'll see. And that's pretty much it for me, guys. So have a great day. I'll catch you later on. Peace out.